Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing a rarity. A pinbuckle, strap clad, hinged lug, manual wind, ultra thin Rolex dress watch. Do I have your attention? Good. This is the Rolex Cellini Cestello 5330-9 in white gold with a case serial number circa 2001. This timepiece is only 6.4 millimeters thick, 36 millimeters in diameter, and from lug to lug with its hinged lugs, a delightfully agreeable 43.3 millimeters across the wrist. The space between the lugs is 19 millimeters, and this is a timepiece that in white gold has a little bit more heft than you might suspect in a ultra thin timepiece. It's a wonderful, gratifying feel on the wrist. You can see that the timepiece fits well on any wrist as the hinge lugs do rather extend the case and give the appearance of a larger 37 or even 38 millimeter round watch case profile. The strap is of a high grade. Large rectangular scale alligator leather, gloss finish, you can see sheer sides showing the construction, monotone stitch, unbolstered, it is very close coupled to the case so there is scarcely any daylight showing through, it is a highly integrated look. The strap features calfskin on the underside and you can see it is a brand new Rolex factory strap. A rare use of a conventional pin buckle on a modern Rolex watch, it is white gold to match the watch with the Rolex 5 point coronet and the timepiece with a slender case band, all of high polish, almost not there. You can see how the hinge lugs are sort of countersunken into the end of the case itself, and they are hinged lugs, so there's the pivot of the strap, and then there's the pivot of the lug itself on both sides. That makes for a very agreeable small wrist fit. I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 centimeters circumference. You'll note that the bezel is not so much conical as perfectly flat with a rounded lip. It visibly sits on top of the case, rather than simply comprising the top of the case. The dial is a lovely slate or ardoise metallic sunburst with the Cellini script, Rolex Genève, and absent any notation of depth ratings, boasts about chronometer certification or precision, it is a very clean dial with white gold numerals indices, white gold hands at center, and white gold Rolex five point coronet. Underneath the solid case back, and this is one of the reasons the watch weighs more than you expect, it features a solid case back and it features a snap case back at that. Rolex manufactured caliber 1602, it has its roots in the caliber 1600 of the 1960s, but it's been upgraded with a free sprung balance that beats away at 21,000 rather than the original 19,800. It features 20 jewels, it is manual wind, and it features a 48 hour manually wound power reserve with 30 meter water resistance. This is a very different kind of modern Rolex. Ultra thin, discreet, and uncommon. It boasts an exquisite proportion, discretion, and exclusivity. See it and make it yours on the watch box.